I lay in my bed, restless and alone, on a dark and silent night. I toss and turn in my bed, trying to find a comfortable spot. But I feel uneasy. Something about tonight just doesn't feel right. I toss and turn until I finally find the right position. I close my eyes, but it doesn't make a difference. It's too dark in my room to see a thing anyway. I guess it takes time for my eyes to adjust to darkness. I lay there, still and silent, on a dark and dank night. My body is relaxed, my mind is blank, and I am ready for some much needed rest. But instantly, the silence is shattered and my mind fills with fearful thoughts as my startled eyes flash open. It's almost undoubtedly the sound of a fist on glass. <laughs> but no, it, it, it couldn't be. What would someone's motivation be to wake someone alone in their home? Think logically. If someone wanted to break in, why would they warn me with a knock? They would just break in making a loud and obvious noise, or try to be as silent as possible, but why the knock? Monsters don't exist. I could give myself some peace of mind and simply look out the window, but I'm facing the other way and am too timid to turn my head, afraid of finding my greatest fear standing outside of my window. What could it be, though? Maybe a couple of birds flew in? No, no, that's too unrealistic. Maybe a group of kids running around late at night knocking on windows to get a few laughs. It's a possibility. Come to think of it, maybe it was just my imagination. Maybe I heard the usual creak in the house and my paranoid mind has mistaken it for a knock. definitely wasn't my imagination. Those kids are persistent. They don't want to quit until they get the reaction they want. Or maybe some sick, twisted freak is standing outside waiting for me to look so he can smash through and attack me. No, don't think about that. Don't get paranoid. Besides, he's outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter... I know I'm safe. Monsters don't exist. Besides, I haven't moved yet. Hopefully, those kids will think that I'm a heavy sleeper and just leave me alone. Knock, knock. No, it, it, it can't be kids. No kid would wait around this long just to get a reaction from one lonely guy. They would just get bored and move along. But what could it be? Why would a killer target me of all people? Think logically. Monsters don't exist. Don't get paranoid. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. But if it's not a monster or some sort of killer, then what could it be? Just pretend to be asleep and maybe they'll go away. Knock, knock. God, I can't think of a noise I hate more than that persistent knocking. Please go away. Just leave me alone and let me be. There's... There's no hope. It's going to get in here and do sick and horrible things to me. <sighs> Take deep breaths. I can... I can feel my heart pound out of my chest. Just... Just relax. Monsters don't exist. Remember, they're outside. You're inside. Until you hear a shatter, you know you're safe. Repeat that. Don't let your fear get the best of you. Just pretend to be asleep. Don't move a muscle. 
They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Frightful tears begin to drip down my face. Monsters don't exist. Monsters do not exist. I begin to whisper it to myself. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. Knock, knock. I can't take it anymore! I'm gonna go fucking insane listening to these knocks. At least if I see what it is, I will have peace of mind. <sighs> I repeat to myself one more time. They're outside. I'm inside. Until I hear a shatter, I know I'm safe. My heart pounding as hard as it's ever pounded at a mile a minute, I slowly turn my head to face the window. And my heart sinks into my chest, and I'm too afraid to scream or move. I turned my head to find a pale figure with beady black eyes staring through me as a horrid grin crept across its face. It was standing inside the whole time. 